Today's model has won the first place in the Parader forms for 2020 and you would know why. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules. And today's episode is sponsored by Nick Long of Amerifest Home Mortgages and MLS ID 398963. And guys, today I have a treat for you. Today's model has won the first place because of the layout, because how the house shows and with everything that it has. So you are in for a treat. As you can see the sign over here, the first place, the Boulevard model with David Weekly in Pereira Forms for 2020. They are still building this model. It is a four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom. The model I'm going to show you behind me is four bedrooms, four and a half bathroom with the bonus. So the first thing I want you to notice is that you get these beautiful pavers that kind of leads you with the nice stone elevation. You have this little awning right over here so that's kind of neat. You know, you come in, you have this little open space. Let's go in and check this beautiful model out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful model home by David Weekly. I am actually in Claremont, and this is a beautiful model, and you would see why it won the first place in Prado Homes in 2020, just because of the layout, the open space. Now, the specs of this home is four bedrooms, four and a half bathroom, and it's actually four and a half bathroom because of the bonus room, but it does come as four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom the square footage is just about 3100 and with bonus room it is about 3700 square foot it sits on a lot which is 75 foot wide about 120 deep so it, it uh, the, the footprint of this home is a little bit more wider than most of the homes that I have covered. It's in a community here in Claremont, and it is about $700 in HOA. They have a pool, they have a cabana. It's $700 a year, so they have a pool, cabana, picnic area, and playground. There is no CDD, so that's kind of good. They do have some homes available still, so if you are interested, make sure to give us a call because you know they are going up guys the market is still very hot you know i know that the rates have kind of gone up and it's going to actually slow down the market but it's not going to crash as most people are kind of thinking or hoping because the market this time around is very very different than what it was in 2006 and 7 6 and 7 you fog a mirror and bank gives you a million dollars to buy whatever you want try and get a dollar from the bank now so guys if you are looking please take my advice still come out down now me and my team is available to show you around so that you can i kind of narrow down the area to where you want to be and and kind of get on a wait list if you want to but do that because i am still seeing price increases happening uh, just for nothing just because of inflation the prices are going to go up because the cost of building has gone up so just keep that in mind so as i walk in through this door you have this beautiful door with a glass now this of course is an upgrade now the base price on this house is about 575 the lot price is going to be about 50000 and then if you do the bonus that's another 75 and if you do about 10 to 15 percent in upgrade you're looking at about higher 700s to 800 you know, uh, maybe 775 to 825, depending upon what kind of upgrades you do. There are homes that are available that you can go to design center, and then there are homes that would be inventory spec. The ceiling height for this is 10 foot. Uh, in some places, the ceiling height is more. So as I walk in through this, you have half a bathroom right over here. You also have the three car garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Now, this is a builder model. So I can't go in the garage, but you can probably see through because uh, they're using this as their office space. So as I go around, you have this, you're gonna be a door right over here and you will have the three car garage there. So as you come through the garage, this is your little down station right over here. So I really love, you know, most builders are now doing some kind of a down station like right over here to come in put your shoes or they will have uh, in some cases especially with Pulte they'll have a little uh, piece of furniture and you can just drop in your keys or a cabinetry work over here and then you have half a bathroom right over here pretty comfortable size with a single pedestal sink right over here 
And then as I go around, you have a bedroom up front with a bathroom, which is a full suite. So let's go ahead and check that out. So you go around, the size of these bedrooms and stuff is very um, comfortable. You have nice two big windows, tall ceiling with a light over here. Now guys, I always recommend if you can, and if you can go to Design Center, then get those extra lights because that really helps, especially if you are going to work out of home and if you have like a family living area or like a den space, which this house does, I would highly, highly recommend. If you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home, go ahead and do so. You have these double door closet right there, which I always prefer as compared to one of those, which kind of for the life in me, they just keep on falling on me. I can never keep that. Now you also have a walk-in shower. It's a frame walk-in shower with a nice tile work and stone right at the bottom. So it's good space right there. And then of course, this is a model home. So there's a lot of bells and whistles. There's gonna be a lot of upgrades. And then you have the single vanity with the Korean countertop. And then as I go around, you have this uh, space right over here, which is the den space that I was talking about. But I really love, they have this nice two big windows bringing in a lot of light, looking at your front yard from here. But you have this tray ceiling and your ceiling height kind of goes up to about 12 foot or 11 or 12 foot depending upon um, where it is located because your master bedroom has 12 foot ceiling height. And these are the extra lights that I was talking about guys. Now don't get carried away with little stuff here and there that you see like if you look at the baseboard, it is definitely an upgrade. Those things you can always do later on. What you want to concentrate on is that the flow of the house needs to work. One of the reason that this house in my um, understanding one, the first place in 2022, because of the flow of the house, you have half a bathroom right up front, you have a guest suite, you have this open area, you have a huge open living family area, and then you have the two bedrooms, but guess what? They have another living space over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. So let's go ahead over here. So you have this uh, laundry space. And by the way, this guy just scared me. I just turned around the corner like, oh, oh, oh but thank God it's fake. It's a beautiful golden retriever, right? Well, let me know what you think, if it's a golden retriever or what kind of dog it is. So you have this laundry space. This, of course, the fold station is an upgrade. And then you have the uppers, which is also an upgrade. Now guys, keep in mind that most builders will only now give you the, the range hood, the uh, microwave oven, and the dishwasher. That's pretty much it. So when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to refrigerator and stuff, a washer and dryer, that is something you would have to buy. So as I go around, this is the space I was actually talking about. You know, the house is so well laid out that you have the space right over here, like its own little private living area for if you have guests come in, then they can have this own space by themselves. Or if you have kids like I do, two small kids, this would be a perfect place for them. And if I get the bonus room, then I have a man cave up there, right? So let's have a look at one of this. Now, one thing about this builder is that they're very, very good when it comes to using stuff that is more green. So as you could probably see, they have the, the, the facade of how the house is going to look, look from inside with the PVC plumbing, the foam air ceiling, you know, how they construct. So, so it kind of saves a lot of energy, keeps it hot, keeps it cool, depending upon the season of the year. You have the extra lights. In this one, they actually have six lights. So you have a good size closet over here, and then you also have another bedroom right adjacent to it, pretty much the similar size. And you have this nice two windows. The good thing about this window is that they got the sliding windows, so they will kind of slide over rather than open out that I have seen with some other. I love the color pink. I mean, like, look at that pink and golf, that's pretty interesting. So same size closet right over here. It's a little bit deeper and it goes all the way till this wall. So it gives you a lot of space. And then you also have a full bathroom, which is a shower tub combination. Look at this guys, this is what I'm talking about. When you go to the design center, you want to get a simple tile with some sort of a design. I probably would not do the pattern that they have. I'll just do one because this might be a little costly, but I would save that money and I will do it all the way to the top because that's not that expensive, especially if you're getting the basic subway white tiles. 
a single vanity, you know, and then you have the downers. Of course, these are upgraded, so just keep that in mind. This house has a lot of space. So you have a closet space right outside the bathroom, very conveniently located, but then you also have another closet space right over here. So as I go around, the whole place kind of opens up, but before I go there, I do want to mention you have another closet space, so so much space right out there. You know, this house is so well laid out, in my opinion. I've seen a lot of homes, and I always say this, it's not about the square footage, it's about how the house flows. And check this out, guys, the whole house kind of opens up. So you have that den area, you have that another sitting area, you know, it just comes in and it's all single floor. Now you do have an option to build a bonus room. The ceiling height is 10, you have the extra light, the pendle light, but look at this island. Isn't this so comfortable? Like this is a really nice big island with the cabinets all across. So you do have the small electrical outlet right there and you do have a small pantry over there. But I guess, you know, when you have so much space right there, you know, you don't really need a huge pantry. You have all the cabinets right around on the whole island. And then you have the upgrades in terms of a gourmet kitchen. So just keep that in mind. Now, this is an electrical uh, community. When you have an upgrade, you always are going to have that it went outside. And that's the way it should be. You know, I have seen homes, they're not as high end as this, but they still have the vent outside. And I would, I would, prefer that too because it doesn't matter what you cook sometimes the, the smell kind of just stays in the house so just keep that in mind a beautiful marble uh, backsplash it looks really nice it just goes really well with the, the white countertop and the cabinets and everything but this is what i really love about this house you have a nice big window and depending upon where your house is facing it's bringing in a lot of light i personally prefer a window in the um, kitchen area or maybe a transom that I did with one of the house with Pulte Homes. They have this transoms, uh, we are like a little small windows right by the kitchen area. So that is something that I prefer. Let me know what you think. Now guys, if you are looking to move anywhere in Central Florida, this is a great resource. So please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Press that thumbs up button, show us some love. And we also just started the channel in Spanish. It's called Orlando Home Show in Espanol. Now, my Spanish is not that strong, so I have an amazing uh, Spanish agent partner who is running the show on that, and I go there every now and then just to say hola and kind of brush up on my Spanish skills. And she's teaching me some words, so hopefully, I don't imagine myself doing the whole show, but uh, hopefully my vocabulary with Spanish will go from poquito and hasta la vista to maybe something a little bit better, right? Like uh, Ben Benitos, which I think means welcome or something along those lines. But you have this dining area, again, a lot of windows, beautiful tray ceiling. Now the, the ceiling height over here kind of goes up to 12 foot. You have this as an addition, like a little workstation right there. But what I really love, is this part. You have a balcony over here with the pavers. Look at the space right there, guys. You have these three sliding doors giving you so much space. And then depending upon the lot, this elevation, especially sitting up on a hill. So there's not a lot of space because it's kind of rolling. But when it's on a flat terrain, you do get a good amount of space. So you could do something like this. As you can see, you have the pavers. They made a summer kitchen. They have a little fire pit area for like two or three days that it gets cold. And then all this space right over here. Let me know what you think of this. And now guys, if you are not sure about which part of Central Florida to be living in, check out Orlando Living with D because that's where I kind of go deeper into the suburban areas. I talk about, you know, the, the hospital, the schools, the shopping, everything that you need to know to make that decision. Now guys, me and my team are here, so give us a call, let us assist you, especially in this market where things are changing literally in hours, forget about days. They are literally changing. You look at a property this morning and it's like 424 base price and next thing you know, it's gone up to 485 because that's happening. Every builder is doing things different. There's bidding war, there's bidding war on the lots, there's inventory homes. Now, by the way, guys, if you are looking to move before the school year starts, you know, uh, in uh, August and September, you want to come down and maybe look at some inventory homes, you know, figure out what kind of plan you want or how much, how many bedroom and bathroom, because of my last few of my clients that I actually helped, they were moving, one of them was moving from Ohio, another one was moving from Chicago, and they had a kid that was going to school, so they didn't want it to disrupt it 
they didn't want it to wait that long and they definitely wanted to be out uh, and they didn't want it to, to shovel any snow this year. So they called me and I was fortunate. I, I guess I was lucky enough that I had an inventory spec. I was able to help them find a home that they can now close. One of them is closing in June. Another one is closing in July. Just the perfect timing. And inventory homes with builders are ones where this is the lot, this is the price, these are the upgrades, take it or leave it. You cannot change anything in it. You know, and sometimes that works out also because when they put in all this stuff, they make sure that they are putting in what most people want. Like I'll give you an example, like with Pulte, especially with the white stone model, you know, people like tray ceiling in the living area, they want extra light in the den, and um, you know, they want to make sure that, uh, you know, it has a gourmet kitchen. So most of these options they are putting it in and it's selling like hotcake still. So look at all this space but I really love this nice elevation that they did right over here. Now guys, things like this, you can always do that later. So don't get hang up on, hey, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. You can do that later on. Get your foot in the door, something that you can afford that works for you and your family, and then you can build the rest of it out from there. So let's go ahead over here, and this is your master bedroom, and look at this, wow. The, the ceiling height over here is 12 foot, Look at the panel, like look at those, those six window panels right there. You know, it's bringing in so much light depending upon the location or the direction. You know, if it's uh, east facing or northeast facing, you're gonna have sun pretty much throughout the day as the sun um, rises and, and kind of sets in the west side. So you're gonna have a lot of light all throughout the day. But I really love, you have a big, king bed right there you have a lot of space now I usually stand in the corners to kind of give you a gauge of uh, you know that you can see how much space you have so you have all this space you have little sitting area and then you also have this door that kind of leads you into your outside balcony area now let's have a look at the master bathroom and you would absolutely be amazed wow you have the double vanity right over there and then you also have the the tub right there but what i like about this specific bathroom is that you have a walk-in shower on the other side because sometimes i have actually seen where you have the tub and then you have the bathroom and sometimes it's too tight you know so i really love the way they kind of laid it down you have a little sitting area right there but look at your master closet wow now this would be my dog house that i find myself most of the time you know and my space is probably right here. So this is what I will get and everything else would be taken over with you know who, right? So let me know how is that in your household, but look at this space right there. You have this nice walk-in shower area, a good amount of space, the tiles are done all the way up. Now, isn't that look great? Like you have the rain shower, you have the extra light, you have a little niche here for all your toiletries. You know, this is an upgrade in terms of tiles over here and there. And then this is where you have your water closet area. Look how deep it is, you know, nice and comfortable. Now, this is pretty much it for this house. Now, if you do decide to build with the bonus, which will take this house from four, three and a half to about um, four, four and a half, then they are going to actually have the staircase right over here. So if you are not building that, they're gonna be just a wall. But if you are building that, that alone, that outside area is just about 600 plus square foot, 650, six something. It has a full bathroom, a balcony, and the man cave. You know, I would love to say that, but I know it's probably not. But uh, let's go upstairs and check the rest of this beautiful house out. So the first thing you would notice as you go upstairs is the ceiling height, which is about 9.5. It's not 9.4, it's 9.5. And look at the space. Now, before I take you there, let me go ahead and show you the full bathroom that they have, which is a shower tub combination with simple, plain subway white tiles. I'm not sure, this is a model. They should have done like a little thing over here that would have kind of popped this whole thing out and put the um, tiles all the way up but still comfortable. You have your bathroom come out right there with a single vanity right here. And then as I go out, check this out guys. Isn't this amazing? You have a beautiful balcony looking at, 
Now we are in Claremont, so this is the only place in all of Central Florida that have the hills and look at the view. It almost seems like you're in Tennessee or some other place. It doesn't even feel like uh, Florida, but I'll take you outside in just a moment, but look at all the space that you have. Now guys, things like this is just an upgrade, you know, uh, I wouldn't ask you to get it through the builder. What I would suggest is that uh, you can do this later on. We do carry name and numbers of some vendors who can help you with that. So if you do decide to do that, but it's pretty simple to do. Nothing extraordinary that you can make this into a theater room. You can make this into a poker game room. Whatever you want it to be, this is your retreat as an owner. Or if you have two naughty kids like I do, they're going to take over the space down there and they're going to come over here and they're going to mess this one up too. So just keep that in mind. So you also have a little closet space right there. So just keep that in mind. But let's check the best part of this house, which I believe is this balcony. Look at the size of this balcony. Like you're standing right here. You have a beautiful lake right there. It gives you all the, the, the views from here. And it just seems like a completely different place other than Florida. Well, let me know your thoughts on this house. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show today. This is an amazing house. They're not going to be building a lot of these models because it is more um, a wider and a longer home as compared to the regular 50 foot or 60 foot or, or 70 foot. This is 75 by 120. Um, again, just to recap, it's four bedrooms, four and a half bathroom with this bonus. If you don't have that, it's going to be four three and a half, three car garage, all single story, 3,100 square foot. With this, it's about 37. Uh, but I hope you enjoy, you get a lot of value. Press that thumbs up button, give us a call. Um, now our service to you is absolutely free. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you are looking, give us a call. We would be happy to help you until the next model home. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.